Welcome to another week here at the Toluin. So we are working on the main water line this week. We want to try to get this finished so that we can actually test uh, some of the uh, valves that we have put in, in in our system so that the cold water side of our circuit is all tested out and we can go from there.
So this is the main water line that we have been working on. Obviously you saw I put the fittings here. Um, I put a, a main shut off right here so that it obviously it's easy to turn off the house um, all at once as close to the street as possible so we can make any changes in the future that we need to or when we have a leak. Um, I already pressure tested this. This uh, valve is fully um, under pressure. I don't have any leaks. So now um, what I did, I ran the, the pipe into the basement wherever I need to run it. I did the shortest distance that would be out in the open. So I just ran it up. I put it a little bit at an angle because it's easier with these uh, PEX pipes that already pre-bent um, from coming on a coil. It's a little easier to work if you're not do doing completely straight uh, runs. So I'm um, basically just curving around the uh, ceiling up here. And then what I did is I wrapped it obviously into the insulation. It can, uh, we live in Virginia, so it um, usually does not get too cold, but it usually once a, uh, once a year, we have about a week where it drops into um, around 10, 20 Fahrenheit. So into, um, into the negative uh, degrees Celsius. So we definitely want to protect this pipe from freezing and especially if we in this winter aren't in the house yet so it's not gonna have uh, flowing water every day I want to obviously make sure that this is um, well insulated. Um, I'm still debating potentially in the future when we do the spray foaming for the house I might put a layer of spray foam over it um, I don't think it will hurt to put more insulation on that uh, we already have um, but before I can do that I really need to rebuild uh, the porch uh, on top of that on top of us here so uh, next step before we really um, continuously use this pipe we obviously have to finish the water insulation so this is where I'm coming in right now in the corner up here I'm going to run this um, PEX pipe along this joist above us um, I can see I already have a blue line right above here too um, this is where I had it planned before because we were coming in all the way on the bottom here and I obviously will cut this off and then connect these two so I just need one fitting and then we can hook up the house so that's going to be a nice thing um, to have finally running water in the house again there is obviously a few fittings only that we have finished all the way that we can use it but um, at least if I need to fill up a bucket I can just go uh, somewhere where we would have a sink in the future uh, where the stub out is and I can just get uh, water from there. So to connect the two, I have to still get a coupling. The, obviously the one that is coming this way is the new line that we, are, that we just did yesterday outside, the main water line. And then this um, line here that um, we cut off here is the line that we were originally planning to go to the uh, main water line in, but obviously having changed it, this is already connected to um, the whole water set up over in the utility room so now we just have to put a coupling together and get them together obviously I don't have this coupling a one inch coupling I just need to get that and so um, normally the supply store has these ones in stock hopefully they are and that way we can install it next week
So I'm going to test it out. I'm going to turn the main water line on for a second and see if we can um, fill this bucket here. Hope I'm not missing. We will probably not have a video next week because we are moving with my office into a new building. We purchased one and have been renovating it here over the last few months. And uh, this is the, f the, the weekend before our lease is up on our current place. So I have a lot of work there to do. Um, getting all the furniture, of course, moved and just getting all situated for everybody to start uh, working again on Monday. So we probably won't have a video next week. But, um, and also this week was pretty short because it was pretty hot. Um, it was in the 100, um, uh, around 100 degrees. So around 36, 7, 8 degrees uh, Celsius. And it's just really, really hot obviously to work like this, uh, especially since it's inside the house, even another 10, 15 degrees warmer with uh, no air conditioning plus uh, no insulation in the house yet so I'm just trying to rest um, as much as I can uh, without overheating and, um, <clears throat> and it looks like the next few weeks is probably still gonna be pretty hot so there's another reason why uh, videos have been a little short or will be a little shorter probably in the next few weeks but we have a lot of stuff to do we obviously will have an excavator here soon sometime to get all of this uh, pile behind me taking out so that we can finish the, the wall and finish the French drain area. Um, I have them marking for us the floor everywhere where there is utilities, the gas line, the water line and everything is running into the building. So they are going to um, mark this this week so that when we start digging we have um, that all marked with some flags or some paint on the, um, on the ground everywhere so that we know where we have to be careful around and then so that's going to be that part that we want to do and the next thing of course we want to take this wall down and rebuild it so that we can support the porch and then obviously finish the French drain and the floor in there. Hopefully we can take the wall down and have that access and do a little bit of more digging with the machines instead of having to dig it all by hand but we'll see how that goes and um, we are waiting obviously for a few more parts uh, from the plumber, plumbing supply store and as soon as I have them, we can finish all the last few pieces in the house and have running water everywhere. Obviously, we don't have any faucets yet, but at least we will have running water. Well, since we don't have a video next week, um, I was thinking we could, I could come the following week when the video would actually publish. Um, and at a normal time, we might do a live video if enough people comment and let us know if that's what they want to do, uh, if that's what people want. Then we'll put a little live video at the same time we would normally um, go live with our video. So at 2 p.m. Eastern. If that is something that people are interested in, then we'll do that. Um, otherwise, there will be just no video that week. Um, so I think this is it for this week. Um, have a wonderful um, week and I will see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye.